What's up everybody? Welcome back to Ian's Life. Today I've got some new parts for the Rams we're going to install. Let me go ahead and show those to you before we head on out to the airport and get started on the install. So these are the parts that we're working with today. Two completely separate items, though I'm going to do them as kind of part of a package deal on the back of the airplane. The first is the big one here, our T3 tailwheel suspension. Now, you may not know if you don't have a RANS S6, but the back end of that airplane is actually aluminum. The front cage of it in the fuselage is a typical steel construction, but the back end is aluminum tube. Now, I haven't heard any reports of that getting loose or being um, uh, weaker than steel, but it's still an item where I'm always a little concerned, especially considering that airplane lands at a really high angle of attack and typically whacks in the tail first if you're really dragging it in. I've always been a little concerned that over time that might wear on things. So we had the opportunity to grab one of these T3 tailwheel suspensions for it and I jumped at the opportunity. Now I've got to thank Dan with Super Cubs North because he's helping out with this. Uh, this is a special deal that he did for me. We're going to be putting this on the 6th to kind of help show some RANS aircraft running the T3 suspension. So thanks Dan. I'm going to include a link in the description to Super Cubs North. You can get a T3 like this there for your airplane. They have lots of applications even for bigger stuff so really cool product i can't wait to try it out next thing we're going to be doing is these stall speed vgs uh, these guys are the same vortex generators are very similar to the ones that were running on the wings of the aircraft Got some templates and stuff in here but these little guys are just little plastic vgs if you're any kind of uh into the stole stuff, you'll recognize these because basically every airplane has them. Fantastic little guys, the wings got them on the rands, works great. But one of the other things you can do with VGs, and in fact, this is done on the elevators of the rands, is on the bottom side of the elevator, just in front of the elevator on the stab, you put these guys and it helps the air stick to that elevator better as it goes up and down. That's fantastic because it means that we get more elevator authority at slower speeds uh, and higher speeds too, but the, where we're really looking for it with the elevators and the flare. That works really well. And one of the things with the S6 is that it's very easy for that aircraft to run out of rudder in a slip. It just doesn't really get out there and slip as aggressively as I'd like to. So for a while, I've wanted to put these in front of the rudder on both sides and go ahead and help us out there. Uh, I've also got to thank somebody for these. Um, uh, Rusty Shannon of um, uh, Patty Shannon Properties, uh, they're doing uh, some real estate in the Houston area, and he offered to help me out with this little project if I gave him mention. So. If you're doing any kind of real estate in the Houston area, especially aviation related real estate, um, uh, Rusty's helped a number of my friends in the, te the Texas and Houston aviation communities finding some aviation properties around town. Uh, he's got several people into some really cool hangar homes that I'm aware of. So I'm gonna include a link in the description to him as well. And a big thanks to him for helping out with this project. So both those guys, Super Comes North, Rusty Shannon and Patty Shannon. Uh, definitely go check those guys out and uh, thank them a little bit for if you do happen to work with them at any point, let them know we sent them their way. So let's go ahead and get on to the airport and get this stuff installed. <laughs> So now that we're out at the hangar, let's start things off by taking a look at the tailwheel. So if it didn't make sense before, it should make more sense now. T3 is going to go in and replace our existing tailwheel spring and work with our existing Matco single-sided tailwheel. 
Now, one of the things we're hoping to accomplish with this is to get the tail a little lower. If I cut to some footage right now that shows this really well from when we were testing the prop prior to swapping it, you'll see just how level the airplane is when it's rolling along here. We're really having trouble gaining a lot of angle of attack on the ground, which is preventing the airplane from taking off into ground effect quite as soon as it could. Uh, for stall work, it would be nice if this worked a little bit better. So, hopefully, Swapping to this guy may gain us a little bit of tail down attitude by being a bit shorter and get the airplane sitting a little more on with nose high. Okay, after a mild fiasco trying to figure out how to get the airplane off the ground, we've finally got it supported back here. Now we're gonna go ahead and pull these chains off so we can get the original tailwheel off. So we have the original tailwheel spring out finally. That was mildly annoying, but we managed it. Uh, my father's got the actual tailwheel itself that we'll be putting on the T3. Now, one of the things we need to do is account for our CG change here. And we are gaining a little bit of weight, unfortunately, but this original guy is weighing in at and I'll put everything on here. Let's get, let's see, that's going on. That's coming off. That's coming off. The rest of that's staying. So I have 2.9 pounds right there. And the T3 replacement, 4.8. So we are gaining a little bit of weight. But one interesting thing we found while we were pulling this apart is that the nut certs that hold these bolts have started to work in the fuselage, which, which was exactly the sort of thing we were worried about with the aluminum back end of the aircraft is, is we're going into aluminum, not steel, and the rivets have started to work. So this is going to help to protect things like that over time. So we'll make note of our CG changes from 2.9 to 4.8 and uh, continue installing this. Okay, things got complicated. They always do. This little uh, quarter inch plate right here goes up on the bottom of the fuselage and the tailwheel spring mounts on it. Now, I did a measurement off of this and unfortunately it looks like it was slightly off because this guy, which is supposed to mount like that, if I line it up here, you'll notice it is a little bit off. In other words, the T3 is a little bit wide. Now, I'm gonna take this home. I've got a couple of options. I could slot this. I could make a new replacement for that single piece in here. Sorry about the airplanes in the background. Uh, but I do need to take it home and figure out what we're going to do, because unfortunately, it's not going to mount right up. All right, so we've got our problem child suspension here home. Now, again, this is our problem item, this little block right here. As it stands, this piece actually represents exactly the same width right here, and it's too wide. So we can either modify this or make a new one, and that's what we're going to be figuring out now. So first things first, let's get this piece out so we can take a little closer look at it.
Okay. So we've gone ahead and taken our block and slotted it. And by the way, if you were doing this in a home shop, you don't have a mill, I know I'm lucky I have one. You could do this with a file. It would be no issue at all. You could do it by hand. It just so happens I have the machine tools. So I go ahead and uh, make a nice pretty slot. That way it's easy. So now that I drop it onto here. line the sides up kind of hard to see on camera and in fact I may even have to go a tiny bit more but we should be able to get the bolts through there I'll do a test fit on this with bolts before we're all said and done but that is coming along nicely Okay, apologies for any background wind noise, but the T3 is now installed. We have got the um, uh, flying wires back on it. Uh, had to readjust the chains a little bit, got those adjusted now. So at this point, we can go ahead and, um, uh, hopefully that's in uh, focus, go ahead and take the plane off of the <laughs> trash can we have it sitting on, drop it back on the ground, and I think we're gonna go for a test flight. That'll be your traffic to follow. Make right, close traffic, or light three five right, clear for takeoff. Three five right, clear for takeoff. Uh, right, close traffic, force your bubble.
Bravo number two, following Cherokee traffic on the downwind. They're about to turn base, runway 35 right, clear for the option. 35 right, clear for the option, number two behind the Cherokee. We've got that five force here, Bravo. not bad the tail wheels working really well we haven't had a chance to install the vgs yet but we did just test fly with the tail wheel i'm really liking how that's feeling it's much softer on touchdown doesn't bang around on the tail quite as much uh, this airplane really does like to approach tail low so coming in tail wheel first doesn't feel as rough anymore i'm pretty happy with it but we've still got the vgs to install but i think for today that's it so we're going to come back another day and do that